What's up you guys, it's Jeremy Ray back with another video and inside of this one I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to set up and use the best dropshipping supplier in the game in 2025 and that is Zendrop. All right guys, so as soon as you go to the link in the description and sign up for a free Zendrop plan, what you're gonna see first is this right in front of you. Now I actually have the plus plan on Zendrop, so you guys are gonna be able to see all the features inside of this video, so don't worry. I'm gonna cover literally everything that Zendrop can do inside of this video, which is a lot. So that I'm gonna literally cover all of the most important things that Zendrop can do and the most important things I personally use Zendrop for. So you guys can start using Zendrop as your supplier, as the thing that adds custom brand into your boxes as your print on demand supplier if you want to and just as the entire basically back end of your dropshipping business now that being said on the left bar as soon as you hop into Zendrop you'll see your stores up here you could click this and it's gonna bring you to a drop down where you could add more of your stores keep in mind Zendrop charges you based off how many products you have imported to your store or how many products you actively have sourced from Zendrop not based off how many stores so you could have up to 10 stores linked to your Zendrop account and they're gonna charge you based off how many products you have linked to those stores, if that makes sense. That being said, it's a really cool thing because if you have multiple brands, you could have them all under one Zendrop subscription. That being said, first on this left bar, you're gonna see dashboard. This is where you can see everything about the brand that you have connected to Zendrop. So all your orders, all the good stuff like that. Next, you can go to find products. Now on find products, here's where you could actually search through whatever products you might want to sell on your store. So as you can see right here there's a bunch of just random products but obviously we're gonna use this search bar to actually search for whatever product we want to sell say we want to sell the retro video game console for example as you can see we typed in retro video game and there's a bunch of different little like right here this little mini game boy that pops up this little retro game console right all these different things that pop up that we could just go ahead and click add to my products and then add to our store if we want to now while we're scrolling through products we could click into any of these products and see bigger details about them or more details about these products we can see the cost the shipping we can see the average shipping time we can also see related products and then we could also click add to my products products right here or even sample order if we want to sample this product ourselves. So here we can see all the products that Zendrop actually ships from the United States, meaning these products are going to have insanely fast shipping. We can look from all the products that ship from China, ships from anywhere. We could go based off categories, based off certain suppliers. We could go based off price range, really whatever we want. But typically you're just going to be finding a product and searching the product name in here and then adding it to your store. Now that's the find products tab. Now once you actually click add to my products on one of these products. For example, we'll just do these, we'll just do uh, this right here. So this little LED color changing light bulb. We'll click add my products and as soon as you do that, it's gonna actually go to the my products tab, but as soon as you click it, this will pop up first, review and publish. Here's where you could edit any last details and actually publish this product to your store if you want to. Now you don't have to right here, you could simply just click off of it and you can edit it later, but if you want to, as soon as you click add to my products, this page is gonna pop up and you're gonna be able to edit the product name, the description, the variants, the images, really whatever you wanna do here. Now all I'm gonna do though is after I'm done adding products to my product, list I'm gonna go here to my products and I'm gonna just go ahead and click review and publish on whatever product I want to publish to my store so for example this LED color changing wall fixture I'm gonna click review and publish and right here I can edit the product name right here I can edit the product tags product type collection all I like to do here though is just I'll go spiral lights you don't really have to add tags or product type or a collection and then all I'm gonna do is go description and what I can do here is just copy all this and delete it. And I can tell ChatGPT, make this description better. And then all I'm gonna do is go ahead and copy the new version of the description that ChatGPT gives me, which is better and more custom. I would also usually tell ChatGPT to use my brand's name in it. And then all I'm gonna do is paste it back into Zendrop and I could go ahead and format it a little better if I want to. So right here, just add spaces in between. Boom, 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 there we go. Then we'll go variants right here. I'm gonna go ahead and update the sales price to 49.99. 
and I could just do this for all the variants or I could change certain variants to certain prices, whatever I want to do, I could just go ahead and edit all the prices right here. Next, I could go to images and select what images I wanna keep and then ultimately just click publish to my store and just like that, I'm gonna have the product actually linked to my Shopify store. Just so you guys can see, I'm gonna actually publish this product to my store. So I just click publish and just like that, as you can see, it's now publishing. And this is exactly how you guys are gonna import a product to your store. You literally just go on Zendrop, go to find products, search your product name, click add to my products, review and publish, click publish, and done. You're literally ready at that point to start selling this product and it's gonna be on your store ready to start selling. So as you can see right here, it's publishing. So I'll just wait, but if we refresh, hopefully it'll go a little quicker. And just like that, as you guys can see, this Spiral Lights product is now linked on our store. And if we click it, we can actually see this product on our store right here. And if we click linked, it'll actually open up the product for us inside of Shopify. But now we can see that this product is actually on our store. If we wanna unlink it, we can just click unlink as well. And then that will unlink this product from our store. The next tab is orders. And right here is where you can turn on auto fulfillment. An amazing thing about Zendrop is they allow you to literally auto fulfill your products if you want to. So you literally just go here click auto fulfillment on and then your orders are literally going to automatically fill themselves which is super super sick so next thing you can click also is branding this is where you're going to actually have a custom thank you card in each order that your customers receive and you can turn it on and off right here now moving down on this left bar to the actual branding section this is where we can actually customize what's branded so as you guys can see you have the classic builder and you have the custom builder but essentially what this allows you to do is create a personal personalized thank you card for each of your customers through Zendrop's easy to use interface. Fill out the details below and download a rendering to see what your customers will see when unboxing their orders. So we can either go here and say thank you for your order and then save 10% off next time you shop with us and click save and that could be our thank you card or we could upload a custom thank you card by using a software like Canva to edit our own thank you card as you can see I've done that here and just upload it directly to Zendrop. But the coolest part about this is when you turn branding on that means Zendrop is gonna send this thank you card they're literally gonna print this thank you card and send it in every single box that your customers get meaning every single order you process is gonna now have a custom thank you card in it which just makes your brand look a whole lot more legit and it's definitely something that you cannot find with really any other supplier unless you pay a lot extra or are already doing a very high volume of sales this is just one of the many things I love about Zendrop now moving on from this we have the request a product tab this is where you could actually request any product you want to sell so any product you'd like to sell you could just send the link to it right here just go find the product on the internet send the link to it right here click request and you're going to be able to actually get a quote from Zendrop on that product and they're gonna actually bring that product over to Zendrop for you so you could start selling it directly through them. So even if you can't find your product on this find products tab, you could go to the request a product section and request a product there, or you can just scroll on the products tab to where it says request a product right here, click that and do the same thing. Now next on Zendrop, you can go to trending products. This is where there's just a ton of different trending products. And this is actually pretty cool to check out. Sometimes there's some bangers on here because when you think about it you guys Zendrop is a supplier so they know if anybody knows Zendrop knows what's selling best because they're literally the supplier right so being able to see this right inside your supplier software is pretty cool and this is what Zendrop allows you to do now moving on you have Zendrop Academy which is a really cool basically course that Zendrop offers you guys where you can learn more about drop shipping directly through Zendrop's coaches as well as a bunch of other coaches that teach inside of Zendrop's curriculum now next we have the Zendrop AI and this is a beta for ad making so basically you could go ahead and choose a product and then you could click create now and it's going to give you a bunch of ideas for your ad copy that you could use for whatever product it is that you want pretty cool thing Zendrop's offering it's just something that kind of shows how they're always improving Zendrop just like Shopify is always coming out with new and better things to improve the way you do business so this is just one of those things that's pretty cool but as you guys can see for a sunset lamp that I did in the past here's a bunch of ideas it came up with which is pretty cool if you go to the catalog in the print on demand section you guys can start to get a understanding of how vast this product catalog is literally men's clothing look at all these different options within men's clothing look at within women's clothing kids clothing accessories home and living hats brands all products you guys there's so many different products that you could sell 
with print on demand through Zendrop, it's absolutely insane. And for those of you guys who don't know what print on demand is, it's custom branding. So it's basically where you're able to custom brand your products and basically what happens is as soon as you get an order, Zendrop makes the product, prints your logo on it, or you know, puts your logo on it, stitches your logo on it, and then ships it out. So it's literally printed on demand. So basically, I could take, for example, this uh, t-shirt right here, and I could click start designing, and then all I'm gonna be able to do is literally whatever I want. I could click here, and I could upload my own design, or I could go ahead and just go text or clip art, and I could just clip, for example, this basketball right here and here, and I could add this basketball in, or I could literally add my own design by clicking file, or I could add my own text if I want to. I could literally do whatever I want inside of this, and then once I'm ready to actually sell this shirt, I click create product, and as you guys can see, this is really crazy because you're literally able to sell custom products right off the bat. But as you guys can see, just like that, I now have this product in my templates, and I'm actually able to start selling this product on Zendrop right now. So what print on demand allows you to do basically is customize products. And as you guys can see, here's an AirPod case I made in the past. Here's a t-shirt I made in the past, right? And if we click add to import list, now we go to my products and we can see the product right here on our import list where we can now review and publish it to our store. Super, super, super cool, you guys. Honestly, it's so awesome that they added this print on demand section. This is still a relatively new thing to Zendrop, but honestly, so clutch. There's just so many products you could customize on here that if you guys wanna start a custom clothing brand or if you wanna start just a brand in general, or maybe you have a personal brand and you wanna start a merch line, or maybe you're a musician and you wanna start a merch line, there's just so many possibilities with print on demand. It's absolutely insane. And it's really cool that Zendrop allows for print on demand directly inside of their software since we use it for our regular drop shipping stores already. That being said, you guys could literally have a drop shipping store, a print on demand store, another drop shipping store, another print on demand store, all hooked up to one Zendrop subscription. All right, so another thing I wanna show you guys how to do is add a store to Zendrop. So if you don't already have your store connected to Zendrop, all you're gonna do is you're gonna see right up here instead of the name of your store, it's gonna say add store or connect store. All you're gonna do is click that and then you're gonna just go right here and you're gonna either let Zendrop build you a custom AI store if you don't have a store already you're gonna build your own store manually right here if you want to or if you already have a store which I'm assuming a lot of you guys watching this video do you just click connect to store I already have and then click continue now what's gonna happen is Zendrop is actually gonna install an app on your Shopify store so now Zendrop is gonna actually be installed on your store and connected with it so all you're gonna do is scroll through these directions because that's basically what these directions explain. Click authorize and then Zendrop's gonna bring you over to Shopify where you're actually gonna click install on the Zendrop app and then you're gonna ultimately install it to your Shopify store. And then once you go back to Zendrop, you're gonna be connected. So that's how you actually connect Zendrop to your Shopify store. In case some of you guys don't already have Zendrop connected to your store, or you guys need help connecting Zendrop to a new store. Keep in mind, you could also have your one Zendrop account attached to multiple stores at once. So whenever you wanna add a new store to your Zendrop account, if that occurs, all you need to do is click this little drop down, click add new store, and you're able to simply and easily add a new store by just doing this exact same process. 